uh, to try again. Right, anyway, uh, to try to this video a few minutes ago and I ran out of space on my phone, so I'll try again. So, we're going to do the video today on Black Moonstone, like I said, uh, and I did a little video the other day, a little short video introducing you to what it looks like and uh, aware of the video coming up. Um, so, first thing I wanted to say was about the stone. Well, I'll just show you it first, and then. Uh, so, I'll zoom in a bit. So, this is what your Black Moonstone looks like up close. So, I'm trying to move it slowly so you've got these like flashes of like grey silver flash to it and you'll get this like it's not a black stone it's not like most people think black moonstone being jet black it's more of a grey and it's, it tends to be a lighter a lighter colour so it's like a brown grey and maybe sometimes you get a whiter version of it but it's not black as what well black as what most people might think it is so it's not a dense black and sometimes the other stone that's sold as, as black moonstone is um, lava kite or the, or the other name for lava kite is Norwegian uh, moonstone so that is um, the other stone that you could buy but it's not a genuine piece it's just a it's a different type of valspa which, which black moonstone is a valspa uh, well, they called it Black Valspa, um, but there is a difference between uh, Lava Kite and uh, Black Moonstone. <clears throat> anyway, so the, the strangest thing is, anyway, the thing that I've found with this, uh, I was just looking uh, what spirit animal, because I do write up some, I like to put what spirit guide, spirit animal guide would be work, would would um, be beneficial and the one that came to me was mountain snow leopard and the, it symbolizes courage intuition uh, leopard gives you the courage to to claim what you want in life facing the wild the world the wild world knowing your self-worth leopard is a master of its trusting in its instincts and intuition uh, it, yeah and i got this inspiration from from the stone itself so the, the black stone the color and it was almost the gray in the um, stone yeah this gray flash that you get for it. it's like the the eyes of the leopard and the colors like the the grays was representing the the color of the fur and that and yeah predominantly this stone works with the crown chakra so it, it really does work with your in intuition definitely so the first one is intuition so it opens up your intuitive gifts and that you know knowing but not knowing if you know what I mean so it opens that up that's your intuition um, wherever your heart as well so it opens it's another stone for for love and fertility so if you're wanting to maybe have a baby and you're struggling or struggling to have a baby maybe having the stone around you will help that and also the stone really helps people uh, helps protect the mother and the baby through the whole of the pregnancy so it helps helps in that way um gives you spiritual purity so it, it, it generally cleanses it's a good cleansing stone so it cleanses the whole of your spiritual body and it's a pure uh, a purifying stone so it really gets rid of all of that negativity purifies it and transforms it into a positive energy from a negative obviously uh, yeah it opens the heart to empathy so if you're wanting to be more empathic you know, want to understand people more on an empathic level maybe sort of like get to know what they may be possibly feeling or have a much better understanding the stone really helps with that um, and also if you're going through a breakup or a um, or anything like that, and it, stop, it helps to protect the emotional body as well, um, so you're not getting, so it's really good for helping with that. And it, it's another one for um, protecting you from other people's negative uh, energies, like emo negative emotions or anything like that. And it also protects you from heavy energies, like dirty energies and that. And uh, from, it says from enemies and dark and dirty energy. 
so it's really good for protecting you against that. This is predominantly why I got one of these stones just to help purify the house really. You put it, it's a fairly big stone, you can wear it as well, made it independent and I can put it next to my bed or in the room and it helps to, to keep that room spiritually cleansed and it's really good for that. So that's predominantly why I got this stone. Uh, it's a nice stone, fairly expensive in the way and hard to get hold of. This is from Madagascar. So this is where the Black Moonstone comes from. Black Earth. I mean, it's a Black Madagascar. Yeah, it comes from uh, Madagascar. So it's really nice uh, crystal to have. Yeah, and it's really, really good stone. Um, obviously, I'll, well, I'll most probably get more from it as things go by. Um, but yeah, I do think it's really good one for intuition, intuitive gifts, and that. Also, one for magic as well. And hope and it gives it's yeah one for hope it gives you that, uh, that that feeling of hope as well so you're not feeling so you know uh, you know drawn down but I think it gives you that bit more of a support and hope that things will change for the good so it, it's really good for that so I hope you like this little video I don't know it's been a very long video but um, you like to to say what benefits you felt from from this stone um, or this crystal then please feel uh, free to put the comments below it'd be interesting to see what you've got from moonstone if you have a piece for yourself anyway um, see you again and i'll do another video maybe on citrine next um, be a nice video to do a nice natural piece of citrine to show you so it won't be a, a um, fired citrine all right, thank you very much and bye-bye.